Next up, Antonio Gardillo, Dimitri Batak. We're going to keep things rolling. Let's send it right back up to Carlos Kramer. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for this man representing India, Antonio Gardillo. And here we go. Here comes the man they call Tony Gordillo, 25 years old, fighting out of Argentina. Record of 12 wins and two defeats, and a big, big addition to Team India. You talk about picking up a free agent, an international fighter. Gordillo coming in with that big 12-2 record out of Argentina, which is a hotbed for the sport. That is a great pickup here for Team India. And let's hook up his opponent inside the cage, representing UAE. Give it up for Dimitri Batok. And here comes Dimitri Batok, making the walk here and fighting out of the Ukraine. Only 27 years old, comes in with a record of five and three, but he has had five wins in a row here, Nate. When you look up and down here, he is a submission machine. He's got the triangle choke, the arm bar round one, triangle round one, and then another submission round number one over Sergei Barafika, I believe that was a Dars choke. So you're talking about a guy that is on an incredible roll right now as you're gonna have striker versus submission artist with an awesome contrast to styles. Let's take a look at the tail of the table right now and you'll see that huge height advantage for Antonio Gordillo. Almost 10 inches he has on there, excuse me, 10 centimeters that he has on Dimitri Batok. So there you go, India versus UAE. It is time to get down to business. This is an exciting matchup. As much as I like to see the, the high energy output by the smaller guys, I love to see the power of the bigger guys. Oh, 100%, I'm with you on that one. In the red, representing UAE is Batak. In the blue, Gordillo. And this is a very big ring. It can be difficult to corner someone. Move out, move around a lot faster. How long it's gonna be until he possibly tries to bring this fight down to the ground and employ what he does best. And here we go, there take down City. He timed Gordia coming in so he could change his level a little bit, get the takedown, the lift, beautiful. Uh, Gordia's content with closed guard here. We're gonna see the uh, submission defense. We're gonna see the grappling prowess of Gordillo. Gordillo grabbing the ankle, looking to get a backward sweep, doesn't get it. Batok uses it to pass the guard into a cross sides. Nice side control. Gordillo's in a tough spot here. He's gotta recover his guard, or oh, he's got that right underhook. Oh, gives up the mount. Now Batok delivering some good ground and pound. Now Gordillo, He's trying to put him out right now. And we're, I mean, and Gordillo has nowhere to go. He's gonna have to continue to defend. In my opinion, you get mounted like this, you just have to put it all on the, all on the table, work your escape. What an opportunity here for Team UAE as they are sitting at five to one over India. They needed to pick up a win. And this might be a big momentum booster here for the team out of United Arab Emirates. Now you'll see Badok messing with uh, Gordia's right arm. He's gonna look to cross it, maybe wrap it behind his head. Oh, he's looking for an arm bar attack. As soon as he can isolate one of those arms, then he'll spin around to the side. Ooh, quick little flurry there, drops back down into a cross sides and into a head and arm position as Badok looks to grab his own thigh. Wow, Nate, you gotta be impressed here by Dimitri Badok. I love he this head dangerous. and arm position. Classically, the guard was just this unbeatable position where you can wrap up things like triangles, as he just did. But Badok just pops right out. There's a heel hook attack there for Gordia. If he was to roll to his right side, scoop up that heel like he's doing. There's the heel hook and time. So there it is, round one is complete and a big. Well, Dimitri Batok definitely showing that he has the advantage on the ground. Gordia though, uh, did enough to survive as he is down six points, seven to one in favor of Dimitri Batok. Uh, judging by the ears of Gordia, this is a man that has a lot of ground game as well. It really does, and you can pull in guys out. Look how he slipped underneath those punches right into the clinch. 
But Baddock doing really well. When you exert that much energy to come into the clinch, you don't give it up easy. He's his arm to keep up. I don't know if you noticed that. Baddock uses his right arm. But now he goes out of the ground, and now Gordillo going to try to do a little work here. Well, Baddock did the classic miss. That was where the takedown came from. But Baddock now is fighting back up, but Gordillo's deep on his hips, and he's got the lift. And another takedown as he tried to grab the ropes. And just sitting there, and he is pulling. Oh, my God, look at that. Trying to get in and up he, he goes. He went for that. He went for the choke out, rolled over, rolls into a side position, now back into, into guard. But Baddock was so powerful with standing up. Baddock sits up big, throws that big strike. Late in the second round. Yeah, just a few more seconds to work with. He's going to go for ground and pound, throw that big hammer strike, and try to get more points on the board. And he does get awarded another point. Now 10-3, to three, UAE in the lead. And it looks like round two will come to a close. How about that round? Another big one for Batak. It looked like he was in trouble there for a moment, but he fought back. He put another three or four points on the board. We go into our third and final round, another five minutes. Who wants it more? Remember, we got some big time middleweights here. Both guys have serious finishing abilities. Gordillo has had a ton of TKOs in his career, and Batak has had a ton of submissions. K1L, hashtag K1L on all of your social media. And remember, we'll also have an appearance from oh. Iron Mike Tyson this evening. Batak shoots a low single and gets it, gets on top into the half guard. And that's going to be another point on the board for Dimitri Batak now at 9-3. to three, Six points to make up for Gordillo. And being on the ground right now is not the way to go. And now we've got a full mount. Baddock mounted on Gordia. Can he put it away this time? Can he remove any doubt? Dimitri Baddock. So we are going to be hearing from Iron Mike very, very soon, ladies and gentlemen. Gordia. And Gordia nearly got out of trouble, but just couldn't quite get out from underneath Dimitri Baddock. Oh, you better believe it. It looks like he's on his way to another victory by way of points with a nice sizable lead with 10 seconds to go. Can he grind it out? And here's the arm bar attack into it. Oh, he was thinking about a triangle, but he lost the arm. Gordillo has no time and that's gonna be it. Gordillo definitely upset with his performance here tonight. Nothing to be ashamed of. Baddock was just the better man, but still a great fight. By Dmitry Batok from the Ukraine, representing Team UAE, and that's going to make things. Scorecards, 11 to 3, from the UAE, Dimitri Batov!